Well, the new eBay fees are almost here. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. Very excited about this one today, just a really quick video on this, but really excited to do it. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you about the facts of um, the new eBay fees that are coming in for eBay shop holders, business sellers who have a shop. Um, so whether you've got basic, featured, anchor, that sort of stuff, it will affect you. Um, the fees are going up, but you will get extra value for that. I'm going to talk about the facts first and then I'm going to do a small little piece of my personal opinion at the end um, just so that then I'm not tainting the facts with my personal opinion. Also, I'm going to put some screenshots up there as well for you. So, as you can see today, I've got my serious hat on, being serious. Um, anyway, so a basic shop is going up from £17.38 a month to £25 a month. You will get 50 free extra listings for that. Unfortunately, you will get no eBay branded packaging voucher. And what I mean by that is eBay are coming over here. They've been doing it in the States for a while, but we're bringing it over here and we're getting an allowance, depending on your shop level, but we're getting an allowance for eBay branded packaging material. So boxes with eBay on the side, eBay packing tape, just like Amazon have done for ages, you know, we have the Prime, Amazon Prime tape, all that sort of stuff. And it's a great marketing technique for them. It's great livery. Um, and and it, yeah, I mean, it's great for them, really. And if they can distribute it to all the sellers and get all their sellers using their tape and all those packages going through Royal Mail every day, day upon day, people seeing that eBay logo on the side of the packaging, that is great marketing. So they've got a reason to give it us for free as well, basically. Um, but yeah, so that's what's coming over here. Unfortunately for a basic shop, you will not get any of that. Uh, you will not get an allowance or a voucher, which is a shame if you have got a basic shop, but uh, that's just the way it goes, really. An anchor, uh, not an anchor shop, a featured shop, which is what I've got, the middle one, is going up from £52.17 a month to £69 a month. So, but yeah, pretty much a £17 increase. And for that, we will get 300 extra free listings and a £10 packaging voucher. So happy about that. Um, and an anchor shop is going up from £217 something, uh, I can't remember the, pe the pence figure, £217 anyway, to £269, and they get unlimited listings anyway, but they will get a £20 free, um, free packaging voucher, free eBay packaging voucher. So, yeah, really happy with that. Uh, really happy with the, uh, with the uh, things we're getting. Um, so I'll move on to sort of a little bit of my personal opinion. Um, so I saw in the group some people were complaining and, and stuff like that. And I saw other people who were completely fine with it. And I just want to reiterate the fact that prices go up all the time. Um, whether it's in line with inflation, whether it's because, I don't know, the market just sends the price up because maybe um demand is high and supply is, is low or something like that i mean you look at the example everyone says this example if you're sort of my age we all say this example and it's the freddo i mean when i was young it was like five or ten p and now it's like 25p or something ridiculous and even if you were to account for inflation at like two percent a year something like that okay maybe it would have been a bit higher some years a bit lower over years but something like that 2% of like 10p is like 0. Point, I don't even know, it's, it's a fraction of a penny anyway. I can't even do maths at this point, but it's a fraction of a penny. So even upon all those years, why it needs to go up to 25p, I don't even know. But anyway, that's just uh, profits of companies and things like that. Um, and companies wanting a little bit more profit or um, maybe production costs going up and then they have to um, increase it with that. So it's not all down to inflation, but that's what I used to think. I used to think, why do we need to put it up so much? Because inflation wouldn't affect it in that much of a big way. But anyway, so prices go up. That's what I'm saying. Prices go up and um, you know what? I, I expect year on year 
uh, parcel prices to go up with raw mail, that sort of stuff. And I don't expect to get anything back in return other than to continue using their service and for them not to put the price up ridiculously, right? Um, and it's the same with eBay. If we take it 30 years ago, and this is what I said in a comment, if we take 30 years ago, no eBay, no Amazon, what would you do as a reseller? I'll tell you right now, maybe even including myself, if like about 500 resellers who started in the last five years with eBay and Amazon and never known uh, the local hustle, and what I mean by that is building up a contact list and going round and having to really hustle and sell things to your local community. Um, if 500 resellers who have, who have sort of made their debut in the last five years were sent back to the 1980s, 1970s, and had to do the local hustle, I'll tell you, 99% of them will probably fail. Because it is extremely, extremely hard. And I've even thought about actually doing the local hustle for a week. Obviously, just sort of set my, my eBay store aside for that week. Still have it ticking over, but not really do much work on it. But just do the local hustle for a week, just to see how hard it is. I, I, oh my god, it, it, I've thought about it, but it's, it would be so hard, but it, if you can master that skill, then it doesn't matter what platform gets stripped down, whether it's eBay, Amazon, whatever it is, whether the internet gets stripped down, you know how to make money by the bare bones, basically. So, um, so just think about that, and then think about what eBay gives you, for whether it's £7.50 a month extra, um, 17 pound a month extra or about 40 or 50 pound a month extra just think I'm here I'm, I'm just I'm sat in my bedroom I'm listing stuff on eBay or I'm around my friends listing on my phone I don't have to find the customers eBay do that for me so long as I've got fairly good photos keywords that sort of stuff um, I don't need to face to face talk to my customers I don't need to do any of that, I don't need to go out of my way and always be keeping one ear open to try and to try and basically see who wants what in the local area and maybe um, this, you know, X person wants a, um, a Nerf gun or something else for their kid. You have to keep your ears open and make sure that um, you can then source that item, go back to that person and supply it to them and then negotiate a deal face to face and all that sort of stuff so eBay gives you so so much and a lot of people who are saying that these fees are, are don't really you know maybe a bit complaining moaning moaning about them really just see ju just do the local hustle for a week and then you would appreciate it like a crazy crazy amount now I'm I'm looking at this as an onlooker to people who have actually done the local hustle, um, I haven't actually done it, um, but I can appreciate what eBay gives me, and I can appreciate that I could probably stomach the local hustle for about a week or two, and then I'd be probably out of the game, so, yeah, it, it's, it, it's some, it's food for thought, it, it, you know, okay, yes, percentage-wise, some of these increases are quite a big, a big step up, but, like, like, for example, let me, let me take, this Wii Fit board, right? Wii Fit board, black Wii Fit board. It's not new and sealed inside, but it's excellent condition. All the original packaging in there. I paid three quid for it, and I don't know what I'll get back. Maybe 30 quid, something like that. Maybe a bit more, a bit less. Some, something around that, anyway. But if I'm paying an extra £17 a month, right? There's my £17 back in that one item. So that's how I look at it. It's like... Yeah, it doesn't matter at all, you know. We met one item. I've got, I've got the free fit, the fee increase back and more. So that's what I'm trying to reiterate. Just take it as you know, take it as it is, and really just think it's not that bad because it isn't. If it was a hundred pound or something like that, or maybe even more than a hundred pound, and you're really not getting that much back, then I could understand, but. You've got to also think that eBay have got to make a profit and when they increase the prices, they're thinking in terms of their business and how their business is going to profit from this. So you've got to think outside the box really with it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there guys. We're coming up to 10 minutes. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon guys.
Hope you enjoyed that video guys. Don't forget to go down below for exclusive content all free over on my website and blog. Updated every week just for you guys. So see you over there.